Hi Flosstube! Welcome back to my channel. This is Stitching Goddess Designs. I'm Athena and welcome back. If you're new here, this is a channel about cross stitch. If you're returning, welcome to episode four. And we hit 250 subscribers last time I count. I looked. I didn't even count. YouTube counts. Anyways, last time I looked. <laughs> We had 250 subscribers. Yay! Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to have a giveaway later on. Um, stay tuned. Later in the episode, you will see the giveaway. I'm recording on a new device. Um, but everything is like backwards. So <laughs> bear with me if I'm awkward. I'm sorry. So we've got some whips. We've got like one thing of haul. I've got some plans, but I've got, and I've got some magical haul and I'm calling it magical haul because not because it is special. It's just because it's Harry Potter haul, which you all seem to love. I heard awesome feedback. So we're going to keep doing it. But first I've got some previous FFOs that I want to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to kind of maybe cycle through them over the weeks as we go. Um, I did FFO Michelle's model today, yesterday. I got it in the mail today. And um, I made a video and it was, it's rough. <laughs> it's a rough video, guys. But I'm going to post it when she... Um, once it's for sale, I will put it up and you guys can see how I do some finishing. Until then, enjoy some previous finishes. So this is one that I have gotten done. It's one of those confetti pieces. Sorry, this camera, it's just, <laughs> it's going to take me some getting used to. Um, It's just, it's pure confetti. And then it's confetti all over the place too. Um, In January, I finished the final piece. I have all four of them finished like this in this kind of a frame with this kind of a fabric on the back. So they will hang like tiles on the wall. Love that. This is a Shannon Christine. Um, thankful, I believe it's just called. And love stitching it. Loved it. Loved it. It was a fun stitch to stitch all that um, plaid looking design. It was kind of cool. And then this is just a Hobby Lobby, I think it said something in there. I glued this in. But it said something on the front that it's a it's a Thanksgiving box art frame thingy. But nice is also got a hole for hanging. So I hang this up on the wall during Thanksgiving. So and then I just had a fabric finish plaid finish there. I might think about getting some sort of a something to sit up here and glue that down. We'll see by next Thanksgiving. One more. This one's going to have a glare because it's got glass. So closer Clarice. My husband is Hannibal, Silence of the Lamb, obsessed, has always been. Um, and so when I saw this butterfly and it said happy Halloween underneath, I knew that I had to um, rechart the words to say closer clarities instead of happy Halloween. And I freaking love it. My husband loves it. Um, he, I was taking it down so that he I could come and show you guys. And he's like, where are you going with my butterfly? So he loves it. That's it for previous FFOs. Um, I have... For whips, I have almost finished, almost finished this one. So close. All I have left, I'm stitching this in hand so it's all rolled up. All I have left is the scarf, oh there goes my needle, at the top. And then I'll be done. But look at the little snowman, he's so cute. Oh, I can't see what I'm showing you guys. <laughs> this is so awkward. I love it. I've messed up in a couple of places, but no one will ever know. And that white isn't really showing up on camera here. 
There you go. You can see the white snowflakes. They're, it shows up better in person because it's a light blue fabric. But it does have some white snowflakes down the middle there. Love it. And like I said, all I have left is that scarf. And this is 18 count Ada that I dyed myself. This pattern. Sorry. Horrible. Horrible. I'm out of out of um, practice. Is hands on design. So you can see all I have left is the scarf up there at the top. And then I'm done. Oh, and I have his arms. I got to stitch his little arms. And then I'm done. For real. So, yay. And, oh, I lied. I had one more FFO. Where did it go? Do, 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 do. And all the things that I have here. Oh, maybe I left it downstairs. Oh, well. I'll show you guys next time. I have a December piece that, um, it's a shadow box. And this January one will go in the December box when it is fully finished. It will be in there. And then, sorry, excuse me, pardon me. That's what Pepsi is for, to keep you awake and not falling asleep. Okay. Um, whips. So there was that one. My January whip go goal for that one for hands on design is to finish two months. So I want to finish January, which I started here in this month is February as well. And I want to finish February. So I want to get those both done before the end of February. We'll see if we can make it. My next one I'm going to show you is my 25 seven. Um, I stitch on this 25 minutes a day, seven days a week. And the one I'm working on right now is Gumdrops House. I'm stitching them all in a row. If you were here before, you've seen this before. You've seen this every week. But you guys, <gasps> I'm almost done. <laughs> so I've started adding colors in now. I'm color completing this one. So I'm going one color at a time. I've done the light yellow and I've done the dark yellow. I've done the reds. So I'm going to move on to like greens or blues or something like that next. Or purples. We'll see. But I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. And then there's one more house over here that when it's over here. <laughs> Camera. Um, when it's all the way done, I'll have three houses in a row. This way. Three houses in a row. Love, love, love that one. And this is on 18 count PTP fabric that I keep forgetting to ask Katie and Laura what it is called. I keep forgetting. But they're the ones that gave it to me for Christmas. I cannot remember what it is called. More whips. Let me grab my giant box over here. <gasps> There's the December piece that I was going to show you guys. I'm a mess. Okay, so here we go. There's the shadow box. And so I I finished this into a flat. I put some batting in it to make it kind of poofy. And then I just stick it in here with some pins. You can see the pin there and down there. So it's temporary, it's not gonna stay in here. And then I switch it out month by month. Sorry, you can see my ring light. So once I am finished with the January piece, it will go in here and um, be displayed for the... <laughs> I don't even know if I'll actually put it in here. I might just skip right ahead to February and put February in here. But we'll see. I'm thinking for January's, since it's a snowman and it's winter and all that good stuff, I'm thinking about putting it in there and then putting some snow, some of that artificial snow down here. Um... I think that would be kind of cute. And I don't know what else. I'll come up with some other stuff to put it around. But, um, yeah. Okay. Back to whips. Back to whips. I've got Witchy Stitcher's Chopping Mall Sal. You guys all know it. I don't have a full picture of the whole thing. 
but I have put in, I've been filling in all the, all of this up here and I put that little skeleton in there. So the fun fact, I put this little skeleton, jeez Louise, I put the little skeleton in here on the 13th because I needed to get some dark 13 stitching in. So I put him in and that was it because prior to that, that same night I finished, um, Michelle's model. I was stitching on it for the whole Black Needle Society um, um, stitch and chat free event night. So I got that finished and then I picked this up and I put that little skeleton in just so I can say that I stitched on a Halloween piece on the 13th. Okay. Oh, and my goal for this one is a thousand stitches in the month of February and I believe that I am at let me look but I believe I'm at like five um hundred five hundred and twenty six is how many I've done so far so over halfway there then so those are my two whip goals plus my 25 seven so those are my goal stitching for the month then on the 12th, I picked up and started my 1200 follower Sal, 1200 followers Sal. I'm awake guys, I promise. <laughs> it's been a long day, <laughs> it's been a long day. And we're cold. My furnace is not working at 100%, it's only working in stage one. So stage two isn't working, which means I woke up and it was like 56 degrees in the house this morning. So even though I'm a thermostat set 70, so it's really cold outside. And so the furnace is struggling to keep up inside. They're coming tomorrow with parts. We'll have it fixed. It's fine. We're not dying. We're, our heat is somewhat working. We're not freezing, but we are kind of cold. Um, okay. 1,200 followers, Sal, Bent Creek, Photo Booth, Frank and Boo is what this one is called. Oh my goodness, is what this one is called. And just look, his hand and then his whole body is behind him. And then they see the, they finally see the spider and they freak out by the spider. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's too cute. Too cute. Um, So I started this with... X-ray stitcher. She's on floss tube. She has a floss tube here. Um, her name is Mary. So go give her a watch. She's awesome. Um, she's an X-ray stitcher because she is an X-ray technician, uh, nurse, or um, she, she definitely works at a hospital. I know that. And then um, Erin from Steel City Stitchers is another winner. And so she's stitching this with us. That's super fun. And then uh, Lexi stitching reader, reading stitcher. I'm sorry, Lexi. It's one of those. And she's on Instagram. I do not believe that she has a floss tube, but give those other two a watch on floss tube. If you haven't watched Steel City, I don't know what you what you're doing. I don't know how you're here if you haven't watched Steel, Steel City Stitchers. Let's find it. This is my start. <laughs> His eyes are, all of the eyes are French knots. So be prepared for French knots to be a hot mess. So he, they're all going to have wonky eyes, which I think is just going to make this piece even more fun and hilarious. So, and my, oh, put him this way. There we go. My Super Mario ghost. <laughs> oh my goodness. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Sorry, my phone's going off. Um, so this was my start and I, I think it's going to stitch up pretty quick. I really do. Um, I haven't got back to it because I was finishing Michelle's model, but, um, I will get back to this probably this week a little bit. And maybe that'll be my dark 13 stitching and, and 31st stitching. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay. And then for my birthday, 
which was Valentine's Day. Thank you, everybody who participated in my love baby snake sow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know what I was thinking when I came up with that hashtag. I thought it was hilarious, actually. And then I just kept having to repeat love baby snake sow. And I was like, I'm such a dork. Who comes up with that hashtag? Me, apparently. Will you guys? <gasps> oh, my goodness. Let's see. If I can show you the picture of what the final thing will look like. I decided to start a Martensia <clears throat> from Wild Violet Cross Stitch on Floss to, uh, on Etsy. Jeez Louise. Words. On Etsy. Find it. Where is it? There it is. Okay. So that's what it will look like. Goodness. This is what it will look like when it's done. This is what I have stitched so far. And it is going to look amazing on this fabric. I cannot wait to have this done. This fabric is PTP Phantom. It is 14 count. Absolutely love this fabric. It is so fun. It's got all these blues and purples and then pinks. Oh, it's going to be so fun. This was all done on my birthday, so I didn't get as much stitching time as I would have preferred, um, but I did get a good amount of stitching time. But a lot of my time I spent reorganizing and cleaning my Harry Potter room because I got two new bookshelves put in there for my birthday. So now I've got more storage room, and they are not bookshelves, they're those cube storage shelves. So I do have some books already put in there. I've got some whips put in there already. Um, plan on getting some boxes and filling them in so that I can stuff even more cross-stitch stuff in there. But, and then beyond keeping this here, I'm using, um, my bag from LitJoy to store all my floss and everything in for this one. And my pattern is on my phone, so I don't have to store the pattern. So, those are all my whips. And I think I forgot to say that this is just 32 count linen. It doesn't have a colorway that I'm aware of. Um, yeah, that's all the whips. Haul. I wanted to just show you one thing. I didn't actually get this this week, but I just want to show these off because, oh my god, they're amazing. Um, that's so Kelly Co. Here, let me take this out of the bag so that I can show you properly because, ma'am, this is just genius. So she makes the Bitsy, the Bitsy Bobs or something like that. I can't remember what they're called, but they hold the bobbins and I don't bobbinate. I don't have, nobody's got time for that. I don't have time to bobbinate. So, but I do love is, is, is these thread drops. So she's made this thread drop and then I am notorious for just wrapping up my thread and sticking it on the arm of my chair. So this will be perfect when I can just grab up all those threads and just stick them around on here. And even better is it comes with, you're not gonna be able to see these, but it comes with, no, you can't see these. So it comes with two sheets of stickers. One is the rectangles, one is the circles. The circles are so that you can put them here and write what your floss numbers are. And the rectangle goes up here, so right next to here, so you can write what the project name is. And then you can just, this is um, like laminated um, cardstock material, so that you can just take those stickers off when you're done and replace them with new ones. And you got full sheets of both. So these are totally reusable, and I bought a three pack. I bought three packs, or a three pack. So I don't honestly remember how much they were, but really reasonable, and I'm going to love using these. I haven't started using them. I haven't really gotten out a whip yet that I think that I want to use these on, but I may put them in here for this, this one. I may put it in here for um, hands-on design year of celebrations. I think that the number of flosses would definitely fit there. So I may just stick that there right now. 
right now. Um, but yeah, that's so Kelly Co. I really think that that is totally worth, totally worth it. And she's got some other amazing, great things on her website. Go check out her website for all the different things. Bitsy Keep Stacks is what they called, is what it's called. Bitsy Keep Stacks come with removable matte labels. These can be reordered through That's So Kelly or in bulk from an online labels company. Use with a Frixon pen to extend the use of labels even longer. So she wrote all that on there. That's So Kelly Co. And I believe she's got a website. If not, it's definitely an Etsy. Go check that out. That is my one little tiny piece of haul that I wanted to show you guys because I was so excited. I ordered those a long time ago. They came in a long time ago. I just, I forgot about them. And um, I got excited about them all over again and found them. They were buried in my desk over there. Um, that way. <laughs> they were buried in my desk over there. And I got excited about them all over again because I was talking with Katie and Laura about something like that would just be so cool. So in our boxes maybe look for that maybe hopefully in the future if I have any say so in things that was my little bit of haul plants and then and then we'll do the giveaway before we do magical haul so plans this week now that I'm done with Michelle's model I want to um get done uh, I want to I want to get my whip goal goals under control I want to finish that January one. I want to start the February one. I want to get a couple hundred more stitches in on Chopping Mall. Continue with my 25-7. And I for sure want to pick up Amortensia and Frankenboo again this week. So, I've got lots. I mean, all of those whips. I'm going to touch. I'm going to just keep touching all of those same whips all week long. And getting progress in. And hopefully when I come back next week, I will have a January FFO and I might just go ahead and FFO it for like a week and stick it in here. It's just so you guys can see what I come up with for January. Um, I know I have like a whole box full of like crafty. I know this, there's some fake snow in there. I just, yeah, I have some ideas for what January will be with snow. I could just go outside and grab some of the snow from my front yard because there's a ton of it. Um, we didn't get a whole, whole lot, but it was negative 12 this morning at some point. That's just disrespectful. That's really cold. Um, sorry, I need to look up at the camera instead of looking at myself. Let's see... What else for plans? Okay, so I wanted to talk about March and what my plans are for March. Um, Steel City Stitchers do March Madness. And they do it in a way that it's like starts and whips. And they put them on Instagram and they let all the people choose. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all of my whips... And I'm going to pit them against each other. <laughs> and I'm just going to see who comes out top whip. And by that I'm going to see. So on Monday I have. I mean say I have Frank and Boo versus uh, Amortensia. And that's what Monday's match is. Okay well. Which one do I want to stitch on that day? It's, I'm not going to lie. It's probably going to be Amortensia because this fabric is amazing. This one I got to put glasses on for. <laughs> so it's probably going to be this one. This one will win. So this one will get set aside for a while. So then maybe the next day. or And then I'll keep going through the that first round of brackets. So then when we get to the next round of brackets. This one will be against my 25-7 one. And which one do I want to work on? Well, maybe I'm closer to a finish on my 25-7 and I really want to get that finish. So then I'm going to work on this one. So now this one is going to go away and this one moves on to the next round. And by the time we get to the end, we should see what my favorite whip is. 
possibly. We shall see who prevails as the winner. Um, yeah, I've been talking really fast once again and saying um a lot. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Let's do a giveaway, guys. 250 subscribers on here. You guys need to go tell all your friends to come, like, subscribe, watch, comment on this video because, oh, Lord have mercy, do I have an amazing giveaway. I feel like I should have saved this for like a thousand or five hundred or some crazy number. But you know what? This is good because I feel like you always get, like, you have small numbers to start off with, but those are, like, going to be your most loyal crew. Those ones that started with you from the very beginning. Those are your diehard fans. So, we're giving away from the nice list. And I have full permission to do this, just in case anybody is wondering. Um, the Blue Flower. This is my copy of the Blue Flower Winter Blooms. And you're going to win this pattern. If you comment below and you're going to win the lady dot fabric that goes with it, the finishing fabric, and you're going to win the threads that go with them, the specialty threads that go with the pattern and, 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 and you're going to win the intense what is this? 40 count driftwood linen from Color and Cotton. Yeah, you're going to win this. And the floss. And the pattern. And the fabric. Somebody out there wants to stitch this. It is not me. I love the blue flower. Her, fa her, I love watching other people stitch the blue flower. I can appreciate the beauty of it, but it is just not my style. It's just not my style. It says bloom amidst the winter's snow and it's some gorgeous flowers. Sorry for the glare, but I don't want to take it out of the plastic. Winter Blooms by the blue flower, Janine McGowan. You will get the full kit, and you know what? I may even just throw in the cinch bag that it all comes in. What are we going to say? We're going to say blue flower. We're not going to say giveaway. We're not going to say contest, winner. I don't even know. We're not going to say any of those trigger words. But say... The blue flower, I'd like to stitch the blue flower somewhere in your comment. Work blue flower in somehow, some way. And I will have a drawing for that. Um, let's give that a week. Let's give it a week. Because if you're here and you're loyal and you're watching me every week, you deserve to win. So let's give you a week. And next week, I'm drawing on that to see who wins. Um, that's all I have for cross stitch. That's it. Um, it's a short one, 28 minutes only. Um, but that's it. I do have some magical haul. I don't have, I have one new magical haul, but then I brought some old magical haul to show you. Um, yeah. So stay tuned if you would like to watch that because it is starting now. Harry Potter haul. Here we go. I want to show you this first and foremost. This is from, this is um, Grimm's, did I just flash you my address? No, I didn't. Okay, we're good. This is from Grimm Apothecary. And I wanted to show you how the box comes. Glass, and it says Owl Post on there. Oh my goodness, she is so amazing. And then, and then, and then, and then, the way it comes is it's completely packed in these little biodegradable peanuts. And then she wraps it to the bejesus at back with bubble wrap. She does not want anything escaping. 
And I just got this in the mail today. That's why I'm just opening it with you guys. And oh my goodness. puff of pods Oh, and these was this was a limited edition. She only had a few left. Grim Sweetness Apothecary puff of pods bottled using a repellent charm to prevent sprouting harvest beans with magic. And look at the look at them. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I love it. This is just so cute. And I love the little charm hanging off. Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome, awesome. So that's going to go, oh, on the top of it. The top says, Grim Sweetness Apothecary, Finest Potions and Ingredients Worldwide, established 1692. Love that. That's so fun. I don't think, no, well, maybe. Here. So I brought another potion. Oh, no, this says Gryffindor. I brought another potion out. This is my Polyjuice potion. I told you guys last week that I wanted to show it to you guys because, look, it's blue. It's a blue potion, right? Polyjuice potion, powerful transformation potion for use with human DNA only. It says on the label. How cool is that? Okay, so then... This is a color-changing potion, you guys! Can you not? I freaking love it. There we go. Gosh, this camera is kind of tricky. Love it, love it, love it. It changes color. That's so cool. <gasps> okay. She's on Etsy. Grim Sweetness Apothecary. I brought two talking oh, pieces of haul for you this week. It keeps going. Oh, it keeps going. <laughs> so I brought home a couple of these off the last trip and my suitcase was so full, you guys. And I'm squishing the lid down and I'm trying to zip it closed and these things are just going off. They were just talking and talking and talking. I didn't know what to be inside that suitcase. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's so cute. Okay, and the other talking thing I have for you from Universal is we've got a talking little head. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, three and a half, two, two one and three quarters. quarters. Yes! yes. And he says different phrases. Like, the more you keep pushing his head, the more he just keeps talking. This is the shrunken head. He lives in the night bus, and if you don't know Harry Potter, and he's hilarious, cracking up. And so when you go to Universal Studios, there's an actual night bus there, and he, this there's a talking head in the night bus that you can walk up and talk to, and he will talk back to you. So there's that. That's awesome. Um... I brought you another piece of candy, another candy jar to show off. This is you know poo. <laughs> it is the constipation sensation that's gripping the nation. <laughs> oh my goodness. Confection coated chocolate. So no, I did not open them. I'm imagining they're just M&Ms. Um, I have no purpose of opening them. I choose to display them instead. And I love silly little things like this. I have a whole shelf full of candy. Silly candy. The last piece of haul that I brought to show you is my Slytherin journal. I haven't actually wrote in this yet because it's just really nice. It's like a faux leather um, cover. It's just really nice. And then this metal plastic. I mean it feels like metal and it's not even a lined journal. It's just blank pages. So, love it, though. And I'm a Slytherin. Die hard Slytherin. Slytherin proud. I feel like Slytherins are all, like, like we flaunt our house more than other houses do. Um, 
because we're so hated, maybe. I don't know. I don't know why we do that, but we do. Um, that's all my magical haul for this week. Those are all my whips. That's everything. I've talked about the weather. I've talked about cross-stitching. I've talked about Harry Potter, and I think I'm done. And we have... Wow, it's only 35 minutes this time. I thought it was going to be longer because I had extra stuff to talk about, but I guess I did it. And we have a giveaway, so don't forget to comment blue flower somewhere in the comments below if you would like to win. And that's it for me this week. Short and sweet. I will see you guys next week.